guys, welcome back to the second part of the railway. Make sure you comment, subscribe, don't forget to turn on post notifications, leave a like, leave a comment, question, and don't forget to subscribe. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch, and TikTok. Links are all down below in the description. Um, I generally have an idea, guys, when possibly what cards stay up for and I already told my mom she was very ready to stay up for the more powerful one but personally to me I prefer saving up something a bit more powerful because you know I'm not likely to like sell it because if I even got over Mercedes um you know uh, it would be my old Mercedes, it wouldn't be brand new or anything. It'd be fairly old, it would be like 90s. So yeah, it's definitely not brand new. Brand new models are not, um, tend to be uh, suitable for younger drivers. I don't know if they consider that young or not, but it's not so old. I mean, it's, it's when it comes to retro age, that's for sure. Um, I'm busy looking for a, a fish plate to, to my, basically put my track in together, but I cannot see a, any one at all. Anyway, it's kind of weird, you know, it's practicals. Sometimes you can get a variety of big sections of fish plates anywhere, but sometimes they seem to come around and um, seem to seem to come up or come down or anything like that. It generally, depending on what we do, <coughs> it could generally be um, those sort of things where you just basically um, uh, trying to think of the name. I've uh, got a very crappy fish plate there, definitely not um, the one to use. Um, Perfect, but we just need to join it up now. It's just the most annoying bit because it means we have to try to trigger up this little bit of power supply, and that really bugs me because a power supply, well, a little, little track piece there needs to be needs big enough for for um, a little connection for the track. I generally don't know what else to connect with and stuff in a corner slash straight bit. Um, so yes, it's going to be a, a bit of a tricky one trying to put that together when you haven't got a fish plate joined together. So that is a bit of a problematic for a railway when you're trying to connect to a track and it's like, doesn't want to know. So. That is uh, what railways tend to be like sometimes. They can be just to be point, uh, pain in the butt sometimes, this railway stuff. It wasn't all that long ago. I'm not saying anything at all, but it wasn't all that long ago when I actually considered giving train, model railway trains up basically. Um, I was completely out of it <laughs> on railways. Completely gone off the idea for a while and uh, came back to it at the end of the last year, but to be honest, I don't know it's sad if you do a hobby and you, you sort of come back to it later in time. I don't know how that works for everyone, but sometimes it, it can feel like that. It depends on your experience and your passion about hobbies, really. Um, if you're passionate about railways or things in general, and then yes, it can feel a bit 
strange come back to you and done it in a while. But if you've been doing it for so many years and then you just suddenly have a break, and then, yeah, it's probably not really that bad, is it? I mean, having a little bit of break sometimes can give you a bit of relief because if you overdo it too much, you can end up being, um, And to be honest guys, there's a lot of things I do enjoy as my passion in my life. Not to share them all with you, but obviously there's good reasons. Um, I don't want to share them with you for that particular reasons. It's, it's basically just saying... <laughs> there's things that I would say, there's things you can enjoy that I do. Just some of them I wouldn't recommend doing. And there's things that I do recommend you probably give it a go. Things like model wires definitely have a go if you've got the money for them. You know, hop a mod model wires series, you know, build your model trains up so you can build up your lines. Doing challenges like try not to last challenges, try not to cringe, you know, those sort of things quite good. Um, there's also things like um, video game series and whatnot. So yeah, there's a variety of different stuff you could do out there, but as I said, it's all dependent on what you find suits you really. But, um, but there's obviously other things I wouldn't not recommend you doing. Um, but yeah, as I said, there's things that I say I'm going to have a good try, especially model wire stuff as I said. Um, making YouTube videos on this stuff, making a video on your hobbies and stuff, people might find it interesting. I mean, when I first started my channel in 2015, I started to think, I wonder that there's people out there who would want to watch my content about model wire or the challenge videos or the, you know, the video series on games and adventure stuff and chat videos my daily life stuff and possibly my dolls at some point when I bring them out if it ever comes to reviving but the way I'm feeling at the moment is probably unlikely but um, it, it means I don't know what I'm going to do on my birthday it's just to be ordering a new one <laughs>